In this example, we have been given shine x equals 2 and been asked to find the other five hyperbolic functions. They are cosh x and than x and the three reciprocal functions shek x, koshek x and koth x. Given one hyperbolic function, we can use the unit hyperbola identity to find the other cosh x in this case. And so we'll start with that. The hyperbolic identity is that cosh squared x minus shine squared x is equal to 1. So in this identity, I will substitute in for shine x, rearrange for cosh x. This gives us cosh squared x minus 4 is equal to 1. As shine x is equal to 2, this is shine x all squared. 2 squared is 4. Rearrange for cosh squared x. That will be equal to 5. Take the square root and we'll see that cosh x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 5. Here we need to make a decision. We've got two answers, plus and minus. To work out which solution we will take, we remember a graph of cosh x, which looks like that. This is the x-axis. This would be the y-axis. This is the graph y equals cosh x. And we know that for all x values, cosh x is positive. So the minus solution here is not possible. So therefore, we're going to let cosh x equal positive the square root of 5. From those two evaluations that we have now, shine x and cosh x, we can use the definition of than x in terms of shine and cosh to work it out. So than x we know is equal to shine x divided by cosh x. So substituting the two values we have, this is equal to 2 divided by the square root of 5. That gives us three hyperbolic function evaluations. The other three are the reciprocal functions, which are one over each of these. So we'll write out the definitions first. And we remember that shek x is one over cosh x. And so in this case, one over cosh x is one over the square root of five. Koshek x, we recall is one over shine x. Shine x was given to us right at the start as 2. 1 over that value is equal to 1 half. And the last hyperbolic function identity, cos x is equal to 1 over than x. Using the, using the values we've just found here, we know that that's equal to then the square root of 5 divided by 2. So we've just shown that if we are given one hyperbolic function evaluation, we can find out all other five hyperbolic functions without knowing the value of x.